Hey guys, welcome back to another one. So we're gonna go ahead and get to checking some traps in this video and let's get at it. So we got one here in the DP at this barn. So the farmer has us out here trapping just to get them out of the barn. So yeah, just a nice medium sized raccoon. We'll go ahead and get them out of here since the farmer doesn't want them here. So yeah, we'll go ahead and get that. So we got the raccoon dispatch. We're gonna go ahead and reset this trap here. Nice and easy. The wolf thing is still nice and deep as you guys can see, so we don't have to do anything about that. And we'll see if we can put a hole for it. Get that out of here. We basically just kick some dirt over it just so it's out of the way. But most raccoons, they won't be phased by it. So we got this one all done. We'll move on to the next location. We made it by the river here. We'll be putting a coyote trap back in by the river. And then we'll also be putting one right next to this crop line. As that's probably where they'll be walking as well. Let's get at it. We got to the location by the river that we're going to be setting a trap. Right down there, there's a lower walkway that they use, and then there's also this upper one. But right here is where it first starts getting to that lower section. So we'll just start up here so that way we're hitting both of the entry points. We just have this little stump. I broke a couple other logs around it just as a natural block off, actually. And we'll just be using a bridger trap right here. So we'll clear away some of this and we'll probably even use some of this as a backing as well. You don't need too terribly much because they're gonna be running near the river anyways. And now that it's not going to be freezing or anything like that, we don't need our wax dirt. So makes it a little easier where you don't have to lug out quite as much stuff as to before. So we'll go ahead and get this all unwrapped. Grab the little thing here. Get it started. Use your knee to open it up, makes it a little easier. Flip it open. And then this bridger was modified a little bit in case you catch any coons or anything like that. A little more soft catch with a little bit of rubber on there. Just to make it where hopefully they don't chew off also helps with coyotes as well. 
Nice big trap, heavy duty. Nice amount of chain. We'll go ahead, pound our hole for the chain. Just like that. We'll see where our trap sits here. See if we like it or not. So it's pretty good. It needs a little bit of dirt. I'll pack it down. Just like that. And then always make sure your trap is nice embedded because if it moves around they will get wary and they will just run. They won't stay around. So we'll go ahead and get that all packed in all around. Also leave down below what kind of traps you guys like to use. You guys see me use Montana's quite a bit. Just really easy traps. I also like the Bridgers. And we'll go ahead and see what else we got here. And I'll actually use the Wolf Fang Setter to dig my hole. And I'll put it right next to this stump so it looks like something's been digging. And make it nice and deep. So they really need to get in there. Then I do need one of our hand covers to make sure it actually fires off. Not too worried about scent. Go ahead, toss those back in. But just because you don't care that much doesn't mean you should just go and just go crazy with it. I did forget the actual sifter back at the truck. So we'll just work with what we got here. With this being such nice and dry soil, it makes it where you can basically do it on your own. Just like that. We'll go ahead, put some of this dirt up here, make it look like something's been digging. Basically you want it to look like something's been trying to hide something. And we'll go ahead and use the wind to our advantage, get some of those leaves on there. We'll actually move this log a little bit over like that. So we're most likely going for probably the right foot because they're going to be coming up. The hole is off center there. We'll go ahead and mix that up a little bit. So we're actually going to put a little bit of a mixture stuff on this one just to test out some stuff. We'll go ahead and use some Fox and Coyote number four. Real strong stuff. Get the stick in there. Stir it around. Take it. Put it down the hole. Cover that up. And we'll also go ahead and use some Cavins Minnesota brand predator bait. So this will work from anything from a coyote to a bobcat to a raccoon. Basically anything that is a predator will go ahead and take it. And we'll take actually a pretty good amount here. And we'll stick that down the hole as far as we can get it. 
so that's probably a foot down there at I would say probably a 45 degree angle. It makes it where it's difficult for them to get to it, so they're going to work your actual trap a lot longer. Gives you a better success rate out of it. So I'll go ahead and get all the stuff out of here so you guys can see what the set looks like once we're finished. Just kind of brush it up a little bit, move it out. So they're going to be walking along the bank here and then they're going to get this crosswind from the bait. They're going to walk right up to it, figure out what it is, they're going to dig for it and then they're going to get stuck. So yeah, we should be ready to go. We'll move on to the next one.
Hey guys, that's it for today. If you guys have any questions or comments, as always, feel free to leave it down below. And yeah, thanks for watching.